the first annual Spoonbill Snagging Tournament presented by Real Deal Fishing Guides. You know, we had Thatcher Waymire on yep. twice over the last six months. Uh, we had the, the promo, a lot of stuff going on. And that tournament came and went, and it's in the books, and a big-time success for the guys. About 230 uh entrance wow. or participants in that tournament which was you know that was where they wanted to be was over 200 yep. and that put them in a good place uh well over twenty thousand dollars in cash prizes <laughs> giving out ten thousand dollars first place prize the overall big fish davis southier and it was 84.28 pounds what yeah. Eight, 84 Boom. pounds yeah Wow. Those spoonbill get huge, and you see the pictures there oh. provided by Real Deal Fishing. I know that my buddy Jake Corolla is their photographer with Corolla Picks, did a great job there. And then second place, man, this is so close. This is a fifth of a pound, mm. but an $18,000 or an $8,000 difference. Second place, Brett Mueller, 84.08 pounds. Wow. That's, I don't even know how you pull those things in. I mean, that's. 85 pounds you're pulling out of the water. You gotta be mad. I guess know? so, man. I it would could've. take both of us. I'd be out for a couple would, of weeks. It after would take that. both of us <laughs> to pull that winning fish no in. No kidding. For in third place with a thousand dollars, Wayne Tucker Jr. at 82.87. Smallest fish was pretty cool. They had 18.8. I didn't know they did stuff like this. Paul was just telling us a target fish. They set a random weight, mm -hmm. and it was 43.08 for an extra cash prize. And Zach Bechtel actually hit that. Wow. Um, and I thought this was cool. So every two hours of the tournament Saturday, from seven to nine, from nine to eleven, eleven to one, and one to three, they had five payouts. So you could go weigh in every five or every two hours. And at the end of the tournament, if you didn't win one of the top three, you then qualified for all of those prizes. And so there was like $1,300 every two hour period additional wow. given out. I was like, I see why these people get into fishing so much. There is serious money to be made if you're good and you can win some of this stuff. Well, and some of these people are really hardy too because you know, some of these tournaments, as you see at the Lake of the Ozarks, it's cold out there. Oh, yeah. Cold and windy and all that stuff. And or hot, you know, and the sun's beating down on you. These are some hardy folks, some serious folks that are out there oh, fishing, yeah. man. Oh, they do they do not mess around. Uh so super cool. I did want to uh mention Thatcher, I was talking with him and Blake. Um they said Ivy Bend Land Office was huge for them and their crew with this tournament. Really rolled out the red carpet, made it possible for them to get this first annual tournament that they were kind of behind the ball on. They felt like so. Ivy Bend Land Office has been providing quality property at the Lake of the Ozarks since 1967, and maybe your dream property, property or piece of land at the Lake of the Ozarks is just a phone call away. One phone call to Ivy Bend Land Office 573-372-6493. Again, over twenty thousand dollars in cash given away, and it's only the first year of the tournament. Thatcher and his crew have told us they're already working on year number two for Greatness. the annual snagging tournament. Chris, bigger turnout, bigger and wider media coverage, and you guessed it, more cash prizes. They said literally they want to get their tournament just like the Big Bass Bash with a hundred thousand dollar big fish prize. Oh man, that's fantastic! And I think they're going to get there, and I think it's going to get there pretty fast. I mean, look at the success they had in the first year, you know, and they were really smart. Uh, going about it. They teamed up with Lake TV and other really smart people, and it worked out. Yeah, and they're such likable guys. Yeah. You know, such hardworking, honest, and they're so good at what they do. Thatcher, who has his uh, snagging, obviously, the tournaments, but he also has the guide services, the Real Deal Fishing Guides, mm -hmm. and his specialty is the Spoonbill, and that goes all the way through the end of April, and so he's like out taking these people on these guide trips to the hot spots on the lake. And if you look at his Real Deal Fishing Guides Facebook page, there's pictures of six to eight, huge spoonbill all these people are bringing home. And he does everything from, he helps you catch them, he helps you clean them, he helps you uh, slice them up, put them in bags, and he'll even fry them for you if you don't want to take them home and freeze them. And I hear there it's really good eating. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I... I bet not. I've never had it before, but I've watched some uh, Missouri conservation videos, and they say it's really good eating. I was talking more about crappie, but if you want to eat the spoon bill, I'm I sure people crappie, do. I man, yeah. It is good <laughs> eating. Uh, listen, but if you want to talk with Thatcher about, maybe get involved for next year's tournament, become a sponsor, or, hey, you want to book a guide trip with Thatcher, not just spoon bill, but also crappie, bass, other fish, uh, Give him a uh, call or visit lakeozarkfishing.com. You find his email and his phone number and all of that 
information there. I don't know if Chris is going to be able to hold it together. 